Hey friends, want to talk to you a bit more about something that I, I think I just didn't spend enough time on in our PlayStation 5 video that we released previously. You see, uh, Mark Cerny of Sony sat down in a conversation with Wired to discuss the new features and architecture and good stuff that's coming to the next generation console for Sony. And there was something that he mentioned that I just kind of overlooked. I celebrated it a bit, but I didn't really, I don't think I gave it the praise that it, it deserves or at least the thoughtful criticism that could also be applied to it and it's thanks to this PC games and article uh, that I even have my memory triggered to be able to be like oh yeah we should probably talk about that more in depth so the article in question is Sony's PS5 SSD has quote raw bandwidth higher than any SSD available for PCs this is a quote directly from that interview that I mentioned and I just kind of glanced over it it's great that a console will be getting a solid state drive because if you're unfamiliar it allows games to load faster it allows different levels to pop pop up quicker and just kind of make the user experience better overall. And for the most part, like even in gaming PCs these, these days, if you're on a hard drive still, the best upgrade you can make is to a solid state drive, irrespective of whatever processor and graphics card you're running. An SSD is going to make your system feel faster, even if you're not getting more frame rate. But the thing that I just didn't kind of call out enough is the fact that they were talking about some astronomical numbers when it came to the difference that would be happening happening between the hard drive and this new solid state drive. The specific example that was given was in Marvel's Spider-Man between the PlayStation 4 Pro and the dev kit of the PlayStation 5 talking about how it went from 15 seconds of load time to 0.8 seconds of load time, which is orders of magnitude faster. However, he also said that if I were to have just taken a normal SSD and put it in the PS4 Pro, I probably would have seen something about a third of the load time as the regular PlayStation 4 Pro with the hard drive. So. Sony's talking about some sort of secret sauce SSD that they're going to be bringing out. Now, there are several SSDs out on the market that are particularly fast, including Intel's 3D Crosspoint technology, which is typically used in their Optane drives. But given that this is an AMD console and Intel and AMD aren't really working together, I'm not necessarily sure that's what's going to be coming out. However, there are some pretty neat indications that because the PlayStation 5 has been confirmed that it's gonna be working with Zen 2, and it's been confirmed that Zen 2, uh, at least desktop gaming PCs, are gonna have PCI Express 4.0 support. It could be that this new set of consoles will have a new uh, standard of PCI Express, which is double the bandwidth of previous PCI Express, which means that solid state drives could actually go twice as fast, which is something that we haven't seen before, which could help explain at least part of the astronomical numbers that Sony's talking about here. It could be that it's something that they worked with an SSD supplier to produce in-house to make sure that it's an exclusive for the console, but the numbers that they're claiming actually are in like fathomably above what you could expect from a gaming PC at this moment. Even an NVMe drive would not take you from 15 seconds load time on a hard drive to 0.8 seconds load time on the SSD. It's gonna get you really close to that, but not shaving 95% of your load time right off the timing. So it's actually really interesting. I don't know whether or not we're gonna trust Sony with this, because obviously they could just be speaking out of their butt. It's on a game that they have already developed, and we're not gonna see this type of implementation on the new uh, SSDs that are coming out with the PS5, but the fact that Sony is saying that the raw bandwidth is higher than any SSD available for available for PC, and they quoted numbers that reflected that, gets me a little intrigued. This seems to be the keyest most key feature of the new PlayStation 5 outside of the graphics and the CPU, which we've been talking about for ages. This is something that's actually really intriguing and I'd love to know more as Sony continues to kind of divulge information. But what do you think? SSD, super fast SSD, better SSD than in any gaming PC? What do you think of that being in the PlayStation 5? I wanna hear from you down in the comments down below. I do expect that this is probably not gonna cost less than five. Four. I'm, I'm gonna guess a retail price of $500. Like with all of the specs that they're quoting or like everything that they're quoting is actually from the PS5 Pro model. That's gonna cost like 600 bucks. And then the PS5 base model won't have all of these super fancy features and it's gonna be like 350, $400. I could see that happening. And right now they're just touting the best one, not the actual standard console that everybody's gonna buy. Uh, that's just speculation. Anyways, what do you think? Comments, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Get subscribed to this hot news channel if you wanna stay up to date on all the hot news so that you get news. Anyways, Brett, channel, man dude, sub. Bye.